morning, Debs. <sighs> Good morning, Thomas. How are you this morning? I'm getting better. It's been wet and cold. And I'm trying to be positive. Here's our little campsite. It's messier than usual. Camped underneath this palapa, I think they call them. And I've added a here with this cycle to it now. <laughs> my ribs are bad tummy. Just pulled me back. Nightmare. I think that'll make it to YouTube. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe it should though. The realities of life on the road. <laughs> Build of steep in Guatemala, eh, Deb? 12%, mate. 12%. 12%. 12%. Walk in the park. <laughs> oh. I think we're nearly there, hopefully. Yeah, not far off. Hey, 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 so just bucked up this lovely beach campsite, lock the bikes up. We're not putting the tent up yet because what we're going to do, Debs? We're going to go paddle in the sea like a couple of Yorkshire folk. <laughs> Let's do it. Look how close the sea is. Oh, Look at this, eh? Fantastic. Oh. Oh. What about that, Debs? Fantastic. Sun's too hot to walk on. That sounds so hot. Because it's black. Volcanic. Well, sometimes cycle touring is tough, but today's not one of those days, Jess. <laughs> it's pretty nice today. <laughs> the lady at the campsite has brought us some beers. 
and we're just gonna sit and watch the sunset. That's the warmest sea I've ever been in. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's like a bath, isn't it? Yeah. Bloody lovely. Bloody lovely. Well, we had uh, a couple of beers last night and the kind lady at the campsite this morning while we had our coffee, she brought us fresh bananas from her tree just over there. Sweet, eh, babe? I think they're the nicest bananas I've ever tasted. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that beautiful spot. Hey, hey so today's route not only do we get grinding climbs, sweeping down hills, but we get tunnels. And you know we love a tunnel. Tunnel number five. Debs and Tom! Boom! I tell you, I wish GoPro had smelly vision every time one of those uh, sugar cane trucks goes past. The smell is gorgeous. It's like putting your head in a bag of brown sugar. Love it. Love it. And look at these views. Woo! Lunch with a view. Look at the sweat on me. It's hot. It's really hot. Look at this though for a cafe. perched on the edge of a cliff. Hey you Debs. This'll do. So the downside of bike touring, bike maintenance and bike problems. Had a new bottom brake kit fitted in the Yalapa, which is no more than a thousand miles uh, behind us. But after about 500 miles, we started developing movement, which even for somebody my height you and size, you're expecting to get 5,000 miles out of it. So found a bike shop, had it tightened up. Another 100 mile came loose again. Tightened it up again, but the uh, left hand thread's rapidly disappearing into the frame, so we reckon we better take it apart and find it. So, what that means is now we've done all the coastal climbing and we've come to this lovely flat El Salvador beach coastline, we've got to turn left, climb a mountain to go to the capital city of San Salvador to find a bike shop that can take it apart and uh, hopefully fix it or maybe find us a new one so we're not going to take the beach route we're going to take the big hill really nasty road too but uh we'll give it a go Ooh. well i hope that was the top of the hill because that's been a beast so hot, look at me, I'm covered, soaked to the skin in sweat. Woo, that's hot. At least the sun's gone in. What a horrible road though. Ah, it wasn't the time. Hey, morning folks. Well, here's a first. Bike maintenance. Washing and general chores underneath the site of an active volcano i think that one only went off a few weeks ago months ago maybe i'll have to look that one up but uh we've got ourselves an airbnb for two nights which means one day off which means 
bike maintenance. So I'm changing the tyres over. I've got a slow puncture, so I'm going to have a good look at that. There's the washing. Deb's unfortunately has got a kidney infection, so uh, she, the Airbnb host, genius that he is, has offered us to give her a lift to the uh, medical centre. But uh, this is our life. This is typical stop for uh, lots and lots of agua and soda and I think I found my new favourite I never even knew they did it It says tropical but really it's banana Yeah, yeah, yeah Hola It's not too busy, it's good It's like banana milkshake without the milk, it's bloody lovely Definitely my new favourite drink I like fresh melon juice. That's, that comes a close second. Big line of trucks queuing up to cross the border from Honduras to Nicaragua. About a mile or so long, we reckon. Two miles. Two miles long, Deb says. That's a long wait if you're a trucker. Buenas. GoPro's not going to pick this up, but that volcano up there, there's smoke coming out of the top. Super early start this morning, 6.24 it is. It's so damn hot here, we're trying to beat the sun and also we've got a headwind and a big mile, of 58 miles. It was our eight pound hotel last night. <laughs> Quite a treat, wasn't it, Deb? Yeah, there was three of us in the bedroom last night. <laughs> <laughs> she means the mouse. <laughs> Right, let's go and see what this village is like at 6.25. Bit bloody bright sun, that's what it is. be the first thing we've overtaken since that tractor in Ireland, Debs. Always stop for a mirror, I always say. What do you reckon, Debs? Let's have a look. <laughs> wheels for 
falling off, look. What a big Half a mile down the road, it's finally stopped to work it out, look. Wheels. We always stop for a mirror door. Check this one out. Volcano crater. That's now a lake. What about that then, Depths? We were set up camp just down here on this uh, dry riverbed and uh, the local folk come down and said oh come up to the village come and camp in the village uh, inside one of their houses that are being built fantastic so friendly kids are good fun <laughs> brought us a little coffee Hello. for breakfast with some <laughs> pan <laughs> Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Adios, amigas. All right, Deb, how was that? That was lovely. I'm a bit meaty, actually. That was so lovely. So lovely. What a beautiful family. What a beautiful family. This morning. <laughs> and little Hillary just ran up and saw Tom and went, Thomas! And gave him a great big hug. <laughs> and I'm crying. <laughs> oh, it was lovely. <laughs> well, of all the things to see when you arrive at the beach, a pig is not one of them. But what a beach it is. time we've set off it's half past one in the afternoon and that's because uh, I've been ill I've had something like norovirus that may be caught at the border with Nicaragua using the ATM or the loo there but god it's been rough it's been very rough but uh, we feel like we've got to set off and do half a day 40 miles a day just to keep moving because we've got to get that boat in Panama soon and on top of that while I was being ill, Deb's fetched us a toothbrush to brush my teeth. And I brushed my teeth thinking, hmm, it doesn't taste right, but maybe it's just because I was sick. And then uh, after I'd done that, she told me that it wasn't toothpaste. It was in fact the nappy cream, the Mexican version of pseudocreme. And uh, not the right time for that. But, but we survived.
Florida, if there's water, there's crocodiles. And Costa Rica is pretty much the same. Just crossed this bridge, everybody was looking over, and there you go. Just down there. This water is absolutely full of them. One, two, three, a little baby, five, six, seven or eight I can see. I think we're going to get wet. Look at that cloud. Costa Rican tropical rainstorm. Here we go. Lost in the jungle, Deb. I'm just loving it. <laughs> morning, peeps. Morning, Debs. I don't know whether you can hear that behind us, but we hit a blinding wild camp here. Look at this. Palm trees, sand, and a beautiful beach. What about this for a wild camp? Look at this, not a soul about. And there we are, but absolute blinder. This is going in top 10 for sure. I think he needs a machete. No joy. <laughs> no joy. No coconuts this morning. Oh, what a pain. A uh, fresh coconut would have they been look nice. Them, don't they? they look very good. Oh well, leave them to the monkeys. Debs, look at the colour of that sky behind you. I'm kind of hoping for some cold rain very soon. It's so hot, isn't it? 46. 46 degrees? Yeah. It's true. 46 degrees, folks, in probably 80% humidity. But with a bit of luck, we might get 100% humidity and uh, a little bit cooler. As long as we don't get struck by lightning, eh? Hey folks, so 
new low point gets a puncture starts raining and putting the tire up i can we snap the quick release lever so game over and we're hitching a lift <laughs>